Across the land of the free, personal freedoms have come under attack. Our opponents are working to take women's rights away. In June, the Supreme Court, for the first time in its history, rescinded legal rights by overturning Roe versus Wade. Justice Clarence Thomas writing in the landmark decision that other high court rulings could be next to fall. When Justice Clarence Thomas and the other justices said, if it's not written in the Constitution, then you don't have that right, that should send um, you know, shivers down the spine of anyone, conservative as well as progressive. House Democrats, frequently criticized for passive politics under the Biden administration, raced to put rights at risk up for a vote to codify into law, including abortion rights. The bill is passed. Same-sex marriage. The bill is passed. And this week. The bill is passed. Access to contraception. I'm appalled that we have to vote on this damn bill at all. The U.S. is now uh, standing alongside Nicaragua, Honduras, um, Poland, you know, other countries that have more autocratic regimes. With Democrats' majority, passing these bills in the House was expected, but Republican support, even if small, wasn't. In fact, nearly a quarter of House Republicans supported reaffirming equal marriage rights. The deadlock Senate, too, might get on side. I want to bring this bill to the floor. The legislation is so important. <laughs> Polling shows the vast majority of Americans are supportive of these measures, but the high court is now harder to predict. The court has been captured by a very extreme right-wing majority. And, um, you know, it's, it, it just invites attention to the legitimacy of the court. Can the United States still be seen as a beacon of freedom, given the fact that it is now slowly starting to erode the rights of people? The American people and those people who study the Constitution and legal history don't know what this conservative cohort is going to do next because they're not following a logical path. And with little appetite at the White House for changing the composition of the court by adding more justices. Vote, 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 vote. The people whose rights are at risk may hold ultimate political power in November's midterm elections. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.